Hey everybody, welcome to the Glimpse channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Hello everyone, my name is Rose and I'm here to help the Glimpse kids talk about having the right mindset. Hi everybody, my name is Nadia. What you believe and think about skills, effort, and struggles can affect the choices you make about learning and trying new things. Hello, Glimpse Nation. My name is Hamza. Kids with a growth mindset believe that skills and intelligence can be developed. That means that you can get big, better at things with hard work and effort. Kids with a growth mindset think of challenges at school as a chance to learn something new. They face every new challenge as an opportunity to grow. A kid with a growth mindset understands that, a, that mistakes are part of learning. Kids with a fixed mindset believe that you were either born smart or great at something or you weren't. A kid with a fixed mindset has difficulty believing that what we can't do can change to what we can do with effort and practice. We are afraid to try new things or work on hard things because they see mistakes as proof that they can't do something or that they are not smart. The Glimpse Kids and their kindergarten friend in Miss Morgan's class have joined forces to reflect on a wonderful book by Angela De Lizzie called The Magical Yes. This book is about growth, perseverance, self-esteem, and, and, and having a growth mindset. The amazing message in this book helps kids of all ages and even adults push forward past mistakes and struggles to reach goals and dreams without giving up. You might be thinking, what's a yet? Well, in this book, a yet is a fun and cute friend that is always with you to help you have the right mindset. Your yet helps you be brave to work through life's challenges. Your yet doesn't let you quit. Your yet helps you grow. Can't tie your shoes? Yet. Can't ride a bike? Yet. Can't play the piano? Don't worry. Yet is there to help you out. So if you're frustrated by what you can't do, just remember that it's okay if you can't do it. Yes. Please welcome Sage and Joseph, two incredible grade one students who used to be in Miss Morgan's class last year. They will read a few of the special words from the magical yet. Your yet is a major game changer. A most amazing thought rearranger. With your yet magic, you could begin to see that you are going beyond where you have been. Your yet finds a way even when you don't. Your yet knows you will when you think you won't. Your yet knows that there is mistakes. Some big, some small. With your yet, it's sure to get over them all. With your yet as a guide along the way, you will do the things you can't do today. You will be bolder and braver, and you will start to see. With your yet, you could get where you want to be. Wow, that was great, Sage and Joseph. You guys did a great job reading the special rhymes from this special book. Now let's turn our attention to Miss Morgan and her kindergarten class. They all worked hard on a magical yet craft. Each yet is as unique and special as the kid who made it.
name is Liam, and and the magic yet makes me not give up when I'm scooting. My name is Aroda, and my magical yet helps me do my name, and she likes me. My name is Edo, and my magical yet helps me put up my zipper and put on my clothes. My name is Stella, and my magic toy yet helps me make cookies, ride my studio, and plays with me. Oh my goodness, that was so cute! Those kids are so lucky to be in Ms. Morgan's class. She's a fun teacher. That brings us to the end of this Project Action Book Reflection Glimpse. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember, with the right attitude, we can each change the world one positive action at a time. Bye for now! There's joy. This has been a Glimpse production. Thank you for watching.